Today I explain issues with brand new graphics cards, HDMI connectors, and unknown sound cards. Let's see you on the inside on this episode of Your Technology Questions Answered. <laughs> Welcome to the 39th installment of your technology questions answered and I am your host Steve Smith aka Z Axis and yes you may call me that. We are June 26, 2011. Today we're going to make this episode as short as possible to be as painless as possible so you can actually use a solution I give you today and solve your issues. Especially you anonymous user, I am sure you're waiting for this one. So how about we deal with today's question. What is it going to be? Hmm. Just installed a new NVIDIA graphics card with an HDMI connector port. Congratulations. You're going to have fun with this one. While trying to install a driver from the CD, I have encountered four new unknown sound cards in my system. What's going on? Well, folks, I build computers for other people and websites, and a lot of you do exactly the same thing. And if anybody you, of you has ever, ever done any extensive amounts of rebuilding for people, you know, maybe even in your own family, you will have noticed that some of these companion discs don't have everything on them. You have to start chasing down the drivers of every single thing on them. This is not because the computer sucks. This is because the manufacturer sucks. They don't know how to build everything into it. And prefab computers, they're the worst. When you build your own computer, each piece of hardware has its own disk, which means you don't have to hunt around the internet for six hours to find a driver for an obsolete website. So this is how you normally solve these problems. Forget the driver disk. Now, motherboards, you will have to go and download straight off the disk the ethernet card I understand the logic of that but everything else you just download a brand new one in the case of this graphics card how about we solve some mysteries what are these four mysterious sound cards well how about we look at the graphics card itself it's got dual DVI single HDMI port on the back only two of these ports can function at the same time but that's an extra detail we don't necessarily have to cover today the HDMI itself can send Ethernet singles, 2D, 3D, Ethernet, yes, Ethernet, and it can actually send 8 channels of sound plus high definition content protection. That is a lot of communication. Traditional graphics cards don't send sound, don't send Ethernet signals. So this is where the manufacturer who is forced by ATI or N NVIDIA to make a graphics card a very specific way, may forget to put things into their stuff. Now, these four mysterious sound cards are the eight channels of sound which come out to 7.1 surround sound. So, awesome amount of sound. This is why you're going to have fun. That one tiny little cable that you're going to block on the back of your computer after is going to have all the sound and video you need no having to unplug your sound system from the back of your computer and plugging it into your TV or anything and risking dropping your TV or breaking your computer or shorting out something just plug in the HDMI and it's going to work perfectly easiest way to solve the driver issue is to go ATI.com or in your case Mr. Anonymous User NVIDIA.com download the latest driver set install it throw the CD out the window or into the trash or the recycling and have fun with your system. Chances are you will have to restart your computer but that is a detail we don't have to worry about. Nobody's gonna cry about restarting your computer. Once this is done ATI and NVIDIA are very good at having update software running in the background periodically checking for the latest drivers. Install them and now how about we analyze these brand new graphics cards so that you can actually understand just how cool these new ones, despite the manufacturer trying to fuck everything up, are. These new graphics cards you're going to have 
are capable of this sound and the high definition video, but they're also capable of taking over parts of the processing of your computer, especially in later operating systems, which is an added benefit for those that are gamers because that means your games are going to run faster. They're going to render faster. You're going to have more fun. So, to everybody in the future and now that have this current issue, uninstall the drivers that came with the graphics card from your computer. Head over to the website, install the new drivers, have fun. By the way, next week I'll be helping you all save a little bit more money each month by reducing the electrical bill and your carbon footprint without whatsoever touching the performance of your computer. So come back next week to see how exactly I do that. And I use a piece of software to track it so you know it works and I do not touch the performance of my computer whatsoever. So until next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the show if you like the show. Comment in the comments below if you're on YouTube. If you're in iTunes, you can comment within iTunes or you can send me an email at tqa at zaxis.net where you can also send stories, suggestions, and questions. You can send them anonymously like you can send your name and location with it or you can fill out the forms or get the show notes directly from our website at www.zedaxis.net. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at ZAxis or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Productions where we post the latest podcast information every single week. So let's see you all back here next week, 8 a.m. Sunday, July 3rd, when I talk about how to reduce the amount of money you're spending and save the environment. This has been your technology questions answered. Let's see you all back here very soon. Bye-bye.